Cool, so we're with, uh, we're with Ty. Hey. And so tell us about your band, Ty. I'm in a band called Broadway Calls, and uh, we've been in a band since December of 2005 when we started writing songs, and then we started touring in, like a couple months later, the beginning of 2006. We came through Arizona on that very first tour with Dagger Mouth, and, uh, and it was awesome. We've been coming back pretty much every tour that we can since then, then you know, where it makes sense. Well, I mean, you, you have a, you know, a pretty good, I don't know what I call following or fan base, but uh, people show up for your shows you know, in Arizona, so I mean, yeah, just gonna, you know, tell you something. Totally, yeah, that's, it's, I mean, it's always rad to travel so far from home and see familiar faces or like even just have a few people that know the words in the crowd, and, you know, singing along. No matter where you are, it's cool. Home or, home or far from home, and, and so it's, it's, yeah, it's just like a, Arizona doesn't even, like, like we played Tucson last night, and we haven't been there since 2009. So we kind of, you know, there's certain parts of the state that we neglect, but Phoenix, we always use it in Phoenix, yeah. So we won't see you in like Apache Junction or Yuma or somewhere like that. We either. played Yuma. We well, definitely played sweet. Yuma. We played Prescott, I think. Yeah, so we, we kind of get around. But. Well, that's good, because I mean, a lot of bands will come through and they'll play maybe Phoenix, that's it, or maybe Tucson, and that's it. So, yeah. so bands that actually will stop at some of the smaller places, it, you know. That, yeah. That'll, that'll give you some cred in this day. It's important. I mean, if kids are willing to put on shows, that's awesome in small towns. You know, that's where we came from, small towns, and setting up shows in Asian calls. So, so. Yeah. Keeps you grounded? Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> so is this is this the second night of this current tour? or For us, for yeah. Guys? yeah. Uh, Menzingers and Off With Their Heads started together somewhere closer to the East Coast. And we met them last night in Tucson, and, and we go west from San Diego up to Seattle, up to Denver. So it'll be cool. I love all the cities we're hitting. Yeah, you know, we get to just hang out with some of our best friends for a couple of weeks. We've never toured with Off of Their Heads, but we've known them for years and played a lot of shows with them, which one-off festivals and stuff. And we toured. We we brought the Menzingers out here for their first tour on the West Coast in 2009. So wow, really? Yeah. So it's rad that they're like. <laughs> Taking us out, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. paying you back a little yeah, bit. I would definitely. say, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, what, what, like, what's after the tour? What are you gonna do? Right now, we don't have any plans. Our, our, right now, like, our record is our latest record is less than a year old. So we're still just kind of trying to get to support tours. We, we did three months of our own touring right when the record came out, and you know, played fest and some other one-off oh, stuff. Okay. But right now we just want to do tours that make sense that we can support or open for and be just happy. We just want to be happy and have a tour that makes sense instead of you know saying yes to a band that maybe we're not like, in love with their music or something. We want to have fun. That's what that's what is the immediate future for us. Man, I like that dude. <laughs> Sweet. It's a lot less stressful than it used to be. Who would, I mean, if you had your choice, I mean, who would you either like play a festival with or go on a, a short tour with? Uh, that's tough. I mean, I, since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to, you know, play with Green Day. Yeah. That would be that would be a huge one for me. We've done so much rap. Like we've done, we played with a lot of bands that I really grew up listening to and loving. You know, we, we played with just like some of my favorite bands, Alpine Trio and the Descendants and stuff. And, and no, this is your so there's definitely some like legends we that we yeah, that we would that I would love to play with. But yeah, yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. Yes, you've you've had the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, play with some yeah, love. yeah. But of course, there's you know there's always like I want to play with Rancid again. You know, we played with them once and it was one of the coolest nights in life. So. I, I can imagine. Yeah, that was rad. In San, it was in San Francisco. It's like you get to play a hometown show with Rancid. That's so rad. You know, it was their hometown. Probably packed. Yeah, it was big. Was it at Gilman or where was it? It was at a place. It was in San Francisco at a place called the Warfield. So it's like this oh, giant. The Warfield. Yeah, yeah. It's like this giant theater that. So it's not like something we're used to playing. Oh. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. It was so. What's what's your like? If you had to say your absolute favorite thing about doing a tour. Um, my absolute favorite thing about doing a tour would be. Seeing, it depends on what the tour is, but 
I love seeing the world. You know, I love get the, getting to travel. There's no way I would ever be able to travel to places I've been without being in a band. You know, there's no way I could afford to, you know, go overseas or anything like that. Uh, so that's the number one thing. That's the that's really benefit me is that I've been able to see see a lot of things just from playing music. And I've met every, pretty much every friend I have is somehow associated with music. You know, like even if it's not anymore, we definitely met somehow with music. So it's it's kind of it's kind of it's hard to pinpoint because there's so many important things. My my life has revolved around the last last half of my life, you know, so, yeah, last 15 years. So, as long as you're doing something you like and you're enjoying, yeah, you can't, you can't beat that? Yeah, I mean, this, like I said, this tour is just like a bunch of friends hanging out, and it's like, I know everybody out here, and it's, it's just uh, really comfortable, so that's what I like, it's just feeling like you kind of have a, a group of friends that just start doing, in it together, kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Ty. We really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Anything you got to say? Yeah, you got anything uh, extra there, Andrew? Um, <laughs> is there any guest interviewer? particular bands from any particular regions that really struck your ear that you, you, you really think about and you're like, hey, you know, this this band could really do something. Yes, there is. There's, is this, there? there's this band that we heard while we were touring last year called The Moms. With them. Oh yeah. yeah, they're from New Jersey, yeah. and they're just like a three-piece like rock band, I guess. Like they were so good. We we heard we never. I didn't see them. I heard their demo or EP or whatever first, and uh, the sound guy at a venue that we played in Wisconsin gave it to us, and we it never left our CD player in the band that whole rest of the tour. And, and we I finally got to watch them at the fest last year, or you know, yeah, just last year, and it was awesome. Yeah. So that band, the moms, is that the They're they're actually very good. Yeah. Um, yeah. One of my, one of my bands got to play with them at Yucca. Oh, cool. Um, back in April. Right. And it was uh, it was it was a really good time. And those, those guys put on a very good show. Mm -hmm. They're very solid. Totally. They didn't miss a note. And they were the nicest guys. And it's, <laughs> it's 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 nice to see that you know some some people that aren't necessarily big and huge in the music scene to still be humble mm -hmm. it's, it's nice to see people that are with that kind of a, a scene and uh, see them that, that they're that they're working on something much larger yeah absolutely. It's, it's 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 really cool so it's it's, it's great that you mentioned that yeah they're because cool. they're 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 familiar to this town yeah specifically okay, so Good. That's, that, that's really cool you mentioned that. <laughs> I only had one question for you was, okay. everybody wants to know if you guys have a new album put out. Are you guys working on anything? Mm. I'm writing, yeah. I'm writing, but I mean we haven't, we haven't even like really thought about that step yet mm. because I mean I guess, I guess it took us, we, we really like taking our time. We took us like three years to come out with Comfort Distraction after the news days. And that's just because we're, we're we, we like to, we don't want to rush anything. We want to like take our time with the songs and make sure we're just ready to like, we're ready to back up a record if we want to put it out, like get on the road and go for it for several months in a row. So right now we're just kind of taking easy writing, doing tours. But Comfort Distraction, like on February 5th, that'll be a year when it comes out. So, that's, you know, a good time to start. You don't have to rush yourself right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. only a year. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I, I really it's honestly like think out. from an audience's perspective, Comfort Distraction is a really, really, really solid record. Thank you. It's, it's, it's very good. It's very listenable from front to back. Um, you, you could play the whole thing and think that you're listening to a different record with almost every song and I mean that in a complimentary way okay thank you uh, I, it's, it's 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 really good it really shows the band's dynamic because um, I think you guys really do have a good dynamic for even being a three-piece band I think you guys really have a great dynamic with the talent that you have between guitar and bass and drums you guys have a way of taking something so simple making it seem complicated but from a listener's perspective it still seems simple and I think there's an art in that 
and I think that's a, that, that that's a really cool art that not a lot of bands can really pull off, and I think you're one of the bands that can really pull that off well. And I, I again, I, I mean that in a very complimentary way. I think, I, I think you guys really pull off something that seems like it's a lot more complicated than it really is, you know? And you guys really did that with Comfort Distraction, and you guys did that with all of your previous albums too. And it's 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 really cool, and it's I, I always enjoy when you guys come to town because I want to see you guys play, and I want to see all of that come to fruition. And it's 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 really cool. It's really cool. You guys have a good thing going, man. Thank you, Rick. Yeah, absolutely. I got nothing else. Thanks again, Ty. Thank, thank, thank you so much. much. I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs>